Hello, this is the fifth video of the Algorithm 1 series for OCR AS Discrete Further Maths and it looks at the shuttle sort algorithm. You will remember from the previous video that we may want to sort a list of numbers into ascending order or descending order or a list of words or letters into alphabetical order. We might need to do this because we need a sorted list to perform some of our algorithm, for example the first fit decreasing algorithm. Previously we covered the bubble sort and now we are covering the shuttle sort. In the bubble sort we only swapped numbers as we moved along the list, but the shuttle sort works back to the beginning of the list each time. Here we see the three steps Here we can see the algorithm written in English text. So, in the first pass, we would compare the first and second numbers in the list and swap, if necessary, depending on whether we were doing ascending or descending order. The next time, we would start with the third and second numbers in comparison and swap if necessary. Once that swap's been made, we then work backwards and compare the revised first and second numbers in the list and swap if necessary. Similarly, in the third pass, we start with comparing the third and fourth numbers and work our way back to the third and second and the second and first as necessary. Note, however, that the pass ends as soon as a no swap is made. We repeat this process until the whole list has been sorted in terms of no swaps made or no further elements in the list to be compared, and then we stop. Let's look at an example. Here we are asked to sort the following list into ascending order using the shuttle sort. We should note the number of comparisons and swaps made on each pass. So let's talk through this. The first pass we just compare the 8 and the 5 and we don't need to make a swap because they're already in ascending order. So the list does not look any different at the end of the first pass. The second pass we compare the 3 and the 8 where we will have a swap and then the 3 and the 5 where again they will be a swap. So you can see that at the end of the second pass the list becomes 3, 5, 8 and then the other numbers. In the third pass we'll compare the 12 with the 8 and there is no swap. So the pass ends. At the end of the third pass therefore you can see there is no difference in the list. In the fourth pass we compare the 1 and the 12 and swap and then the 1 and the 8 swap, 1 and the 5 swap and the 1 and the 3 swap. Therefore there were four swaps in that fourth pass and the num numbers are adjusted accordingly. We therefore go on and compare 15 and 12. Again because we don't swap that pass then finishes. In the next pass we compare the 7 with the 15 and swap and swap the 7 with the 12 and the 8. However, we don't swap with the 5. Therefore the pass ends. We then just have the 6 compared to the, 60, the 15 and the 6 swaps with the 15 and the 12 and the 8 and the 7 but not with the 5 so therefore the pass ends. Therefore, by the end of the seventh pass, we have the list in ascending order. If we want to look at the comparisons and swaps, we just have to count the number of arcs or arcs with arrows. And as you can see, these do not follow any particular pattern, unlike the bubble sort. Let's look at this second example. Here we would start by comparing the 5 with the 9. We don't want to swap this because it's already in descending order, which is what this is asked for. So the list would not change. In the next pass we would start by considering the 1 and the 5. We want it to be in descending order so again that wouldn't change and the pass would end. The other numbers 
would not change. In the next pass, we compare the 14 with the 1 and that would change, and then the 14 with the 5, and then the 14 with the 9. Therefore, we would now have an order of 14, 9, 5, 1, and then the other numbers following on. So, in the next pass, we would then be comparing the 8 with the 1, which would change, and the 8 with the 5. But then when we compare the 8 with the 9, there is no swap, and so the pass ends. We would therefore be, with a new list, 14, 9, 8, 5, 1, and then the 2, 11, and 10. We now start with the 2. The 2 will swap with the 1, but it will not swap with the 5, and so the pass ends there. So we're on 14, 9, 8, 5, 2, 1, 11, and 10. Next time we start with the 11, and that is going to swap its way all the way down. until finally with a 14 it does not swap. So we now have 14, 11, 9, 8, 5, 2, 1 and 10. Finally the 10 again will swap its way down the list until we compare it to 11 when it has no swap and it stops. Looking then at comparisons and swaps, we had one comparison and no swap. And no swap. Three comparisons and three swaps. Three comparisons and two swaps. Two comparisons and one swap six comparisons and five swaps and another six comparisons and five swaps. You'll note that the number of swaps adds up to 16 and the number of comparisons was 22. So to summarise, on each pass of the shuttle sort another element is shuttled into its position relative to those already sorted. The list effectively gets longer by one element on each pass in terms of the number of numbers we are comparing. But the algorithm ends when there's no more elements to take into account. You may have no noticed that the number of comparisons made on each pass did not follow any systematic or logical progression. So if we compare the bubble and the shuttle sort, then for a bubble sort, we notice that the number of comparisons started at n minus 1 for a list of n items and decreased by 1 each time. Thus, there was a maximum comparisons of half n n minus 1. Whereas for a shuttle sort, the number of comparisons varied depending on the items in the list. Another comparison is that for a bubble sort, an extra complete pass is required after the list is sorted, and the shuttle sort partially overcomes this problem and therefore is a little bit more efficient. As you can be seen in that the shuttle sort will involve the same number of swaps as a bubble sort, but fewer comparisons. In that second example, for the bubble sort, there were 27 comparisons and 16 swaps, whereas the shuttle sort had 22 comparisons and 16 swaps for the same list. This was the last video in the Algorithm 1 series for OCAS Discrete Further Maths.